Okay, in this demonstration video, I'm going to show you these new $30 Chinese 45-degree uh, bending blades. You can use them to cut ACM aluminum panel. You can use them for even cutting sheet metal, which I'm going to show in this video. Um, they don't really fit good in a track saw because they're about 8 millimeters wide. It's about a third of an inch. So I took a diamond blade and, and trimmed it down a little bit. You could get some, you know, washers to bring this out a little bit, but you might have to modify the inside of this saw a little bit to get it to work. So... If you get a real close up of this groove here, it's like a 45 degree or 90 degree total groove in there, so you can bend it real easily. And you have to practice on some scrap sheets. If you don't cut it deep enough, then it's not easy to fold. If you cut it too deep, then it will cut right through the sheet. So practice on some scraps first. Um, this is about a 60 mil sheet, a sixteenth of an inch, and I have the cut going about halfway through, which leaves you about 30 mil left, which is good enough to make a nice bend. So, there's your bend, nice and crisp on the edge since you're only bending about 30 mils. But if you have a break and you need to make a bend, this is a pretty good way to do it. Thanks for watching. Okay, here's a quick video showing you how you need to modify your Makita track saw in order to take ACM grooving blades. So if you look at this, I basically took an aluminum grinding wheel and ground off a little bit of this metal here. Also, I put a 1 8 inch washer underneath this blade to bring it out from the housing a little bit. And just for a little bit extra clearance, I ground down these areas a little bit here. With those two simple modifications, it's very easy for this saw to plunge up and down without any friction or rubbing against the sides. And this is necessary again because these blades are very thick and this saw is only designed for thinner blades. Thanks for watching.